hi everybody i'm back again and i wanted to do a video on skincare um i've had some questions been asked to me um, about my skin and what i use and i just thought i would share uh, so yes no makeup <laughs> uh, i've already washed my face with a product called dudu osun black soap I did do a haul video. It's on my 120 palette shop crazy and more haul video where you can actually see the box that it's in. I get it off Amazon.com but it's available in a lot of natural um, stores and other stores online other than Amazon.com. Um, I've used a lot of other soaps um, to wash the face but this has been by far one of the best products I've ever used. Uh, it's I can't explain why it works so well. I'm sure it being all natural has something to do with it, but it has to be that cam wood, uh, which is the actual burnt product, that cam wood that they burn and put inside of the soap uh, that makes it so clarifying. Because you know, and if there are any blemishes or acne, two or three days washing with the soap on my face and it's dried up and it's gone. If you have dark spots, if you concentrate that black soap on that dark spots, you give it a couple of weeks, they're faded. But as far as my skin being clear, it's clear. And that's not because, you know, I have such wonderful magical skin. I mean, yeah, the people in my family, our skin tends to be pretty decent, but not all of us. I've suffered for ac from acne for years. And when I started using the black soap, I barely exfoliate. I mean, to be honest with you, I might do it once a month uh, just to make sure, you know, um, that it's being done. But other than that, I don't even feel the need to. I mean, because you can tell when you need to exfoliate your skin, you can actually feel it. Um, I don't know what else to say about the black soap, but that's what I use to wash my face with. And that's the only thing I use to wash my face with. Once I've washed my face, I use an astringent, which is this I'm showing you is Seabreeze. You don't have to use Seabreeze. I use the one for um, sensitive skin because the other one is just too harsh for me. I, I've also used the Walmart brand of the Seabreeze, okay, uh, for sensitive skin. I've also bought the Dollar General brand of the uh, sea breeze so it doesn't have to be actually sea breeze um, and you try the different ones to see if you like it or not mm -hmm. I just want to live my life and I want to moisturize because I have oily skin that's the key you need to find out what kind of skin you have. Are you sensitive? Are you oily? Are you extra dry? Uh, I have oily skin in the T-zone. So I use um, Mary Kay Oil Control Lotion. Uh, it's formula number three. Okay, It's very important because in the Mary Kay Lotion there's a kind of what they call a polymer uh, for me in layman's terms I call it some kind of powder substance they have inside the lotion that once you put it on your face after it moisturizes that powder kind of is left and dries you don't see it it's invisible but you can feel it and it's left there to absorb any oil so I put about that much on my hand now I'm going to use a tiny bit of Palmer's cocoa butter formula lotion and I mean a tiny bit I don't know if you can see the yellow that little bit that's all I'm gonna put and I'm mixing them together in my hand then I'm gonna I just wanna live my life cuz I wanna and I need to so don't be trying to steal my light cuz you don't know. because it's summertime uh, I don't prescribe to this myth that we have that as African Americans 
we don't need to use sunscreen. That is not true, okay? We get skin cancer just like every other ethnicity, okay? All you need to do is meet one black person that got skin cancer and then your life will be changed. I don't have to meet nobody. I can read and understand and comprehend. We're not invincible. Yes, the melanin in our skin does help us. Uh, it also is one of the reasons why we tend to retain our youth as we get older in our skin more so. But that doesn't mean you don't take care of your skin. You need to take care of it. It's a gift that God's given to you. It's your temple. You need to take care of it as best as you can. Um, so I use a sunscreen on my face, okay? When you have sensitive skin, it's kind of hard to find a good sunscreen. You got to use trial and error. I mean, really, that's what it boils down to. Um, so I don't get too crazy with it. What I'm going to show you that I use for sunscreen, it's made by CoverGirl. It's called CG Smoothers. Mine is the medium to dark. It's actually a moisturizer, a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen in it. So I think this is great. Um, if you just want to moisturize your face, put on some sunscreen and go out the door, this is good because it's slightly tinted. And this is what I usually do. I put some under my eye. I do this first because I have these dark circles under my eye. So you don't want them to get darker, right? So you put sunscreen on it. I think Tyra Banks talked about this trick that um, Naomi taught her or Iman taught her about putting sunscreen on your knees if they're dark before you go to the beach so that when you tan your knees aren't darker than the rest of your body. They've actually like caught up and it's just the same principle. So I put that on there first. Then I get the cheeks. And you notice I'm not putting on a whole lot. Because, like I said before, I have oily skin. So we try not to get too crazy with the moisturizing. I'm really just trying to put sunscreen on. I'm not trying to really moisturize. So that's my skincare. That's my skincare in the way of products. Of course, getting proper rest, drinking lots of water, yes, it makes a difference. Cutting down on soda makes a difference. Um, staying away from, you know, eating chocolate a lot. Um, those things will help. You will see the difference in your face. Um, if you can't cut out the sweets, try to just stick to the water cut down on the amount of soda you're drinking even just increasing your water intake coupled with the rest you'll see a difference in your skin but that's it so stay tuned I'm coming up with some more videos I'm going to do differences in foundations now um, and talk a little bit about that coming up soon okay and don't forget click that little star write a comment encourage a sister if you subscribe thank you thank you thank you and really thank y'all so much for y'all support and talk to y'all soon